<laughs> Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Again, <laughs> back for number two. All right, what to do? God bless y'all. One day at a time. All right, little by little. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Not everything is going to be done for you at one time. All right? <laughs> you got to take the good with the bad, brother and sister. Uh, you can't have one without the other. Ups without downs. Fouls without free throws. Daytime without nighttime. All right? <laughs> you experience this every 24 hours. Okay? I love how God got that set up. 12 hours a day, 12 hours a night. <laughs> sometimes things going to look sunny and smooth, and sometimes they're not. They're going to be dark moments in your life. You hear me? There's a reason for him. Don't nobody like dark moments, but that's the only time you can see stars shine, man. I'm going to keep on saying it because I love that. <laughs> you hear me? A lot of people want to shine, do this and do that, but you don't want to go through nothing, damn it. You got to. <laughs> you hear me? David said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, yeah, you got to walk through it. You hear me? You want to get to the next point? You got to. <laughs> keep on standing still, man. You hear me? It's a reason for them dark moments. All right? You could be one of them stars shining ever so bright. I have confidence that you will be, as I am. <laughs> you where keep on going through it you gotta go through it i know it's painful and it hurt but watch what happens when you get to the other side all right <laughs> where you just keep on breathing and hellin' and exhaling all right don't forget to do that <laughs> you're gonna be all right <laughs> all glory honor and praise go to my father in heaven allah lord jesus and the sweet holy spirit gotta give credit honor and glory to who is due Amen. Today's Sunday. Uh, Sunday, November 12, 5.41 a.m. 2023. It is early. <laughs> I love to be up <laughs> while everyone else is asleep. <laughs> if you ain't got you one of these, you should have got you one to read. You got to wait till I get more. I gave all mine out. <laughs> all right. It's a nice book, though, called Knowledge from God Almighty by some brother named Devontae Farm. All right. Uh, volume 1. Uh, it's a nice book, nice name, <laughs> but don't no book replace the Bible. <laughs> I don't care what book you got. Don't no book replace the Bible. <laughs> All right. Everything you need, can, need, and will need is something God's word and in God's word a long year. I love it. You're never going to get step two until you take step one. Step one, taking God at his word. Okay. <laughs> so if you ain't got a Bible, I highly advise you to get you one of them. I, 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 any, if there's any truth in your books, they're going to point you to the Bible. I love to read the Holy Quran. That is the word of God. And it points you to the Bible. It lines up with it. All right? I'm telling you, you're never going to get step two until you take step one. All right? So if you ain't got a Bible, I highly advise you to get you one of them. If you're a new reader, get you a new international version because it's more easy and update for you to read. It don't, it don't, speak, like, it don't speak like the King James. You ain't going to understand it. But the, all versions of the Bible are good. You hear me? But you want to get something you can understand clear, okay? So get an NIV, a new international version. I'm telling you, okay? Second thing, nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm not perfect. <laughs> Far from it. <laughs> I don't try to be perfect, I, but if you know who God is, you're going to try You're gonna try your best to strive to the, to be the best person you could be if you know him, because you want to please him. God gives you power and ability to try to do, be the best you can, but with that being said, <laughs> you're not perfect. You're going to fall short of the glory of God each and every single day. I do. You hear me? There's no reason to, no excuse to just be down in the dumps. Uh, just keep on trying to be the best you could be. But I love this. Nobody perfect. There's only one person who was perfect, who walked this earth perfectly. His name was Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Born of a virgin. Mother named Mary. Unless that's you, which I highly doubt, brother and sister, you're not perfect. God ain't crazy to be perfect. That's not your role. All right. I love the fact the Lord ain't looking for perfection, but devotion. People who truly devoted to him, man. That's what he wants. Your worst day is as good as your best day with God if you devote it to him. You hear me? I love what Stephen A. say. The best ability is availability. You hear me? He talking about sports, but that's what God looking for. I'm telling you, people who make themselves available from the heart. If you do that and make yourself available from the heart, God will take you and use you no matter what situation, or mind frame, or condition you're in. Gay, straight, drunk, sober, whatever you got going on, God will take you and work with you. I know it's not easy. I know it's a struggle. I know things ain't right, but keep on making yourself available to the Lord from the heart. Watch what he do for you. It's, it's today Sunday. Millions of people are going to go to church today, but they don't bring their hearts to God. Jesus said, these people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Do you hear me? That's why people don't get no change. But if you truly make yourself available to God from your heart, watch what he do for you. You just keep on making yourself available. Keep on showing up and watch what he do. going to show out. Watch. He's going to fix you from the inside out and clean you up and make you straight, stand you up straight. You hear me? 
I'm telling you. But until then, you're going to struggle from time to time. That's all right. I struggle each and every single day. I have nobody to help me but God. <laughs> I love that. I love that. You hear me? And he, he is helping me. Jesus Christ is helping me too. Bless my Lord and Savior. And the Holy Spirit. I love the fact that <laughs> the Holy Spirit right there with you, babe. Jesus said, I ain't going to leave you as orphans. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's in the app. My, my great-grandma always used to say, you need the Holy Ghost for the comfort. Man, let you down. Your mother, your mom and daddy, they let you down. That money, it let you down. Friends, jobs, whatever you got, let you down. But if you got God, damn, he ain't going to let you. Jesus said, be content with what you had. Hmm. What you got? Jesus said, I never leave you, never forsake you. I love that right there. I'll take that to the bank any day. Hmm. Yeah, any day. I walk by myself through this valley. I don't need nobody else. You come in this world, you was born naked by yourself, aren't you? You don't need nobody. As long as you know who you is and who you got, you don't need nobody. <laughs> if you look to anybody who know me, when you see me, it's always me, damn it. But I ain't never alone. I got God on my side. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. That's all you need to keep on going. Stand up, be who you're meant to be. Accept your own and be yourself. Second thing. Was that the second thing? Yeah. All right. <laughs> third thing. <laughs> It ain't no third thing. If you're watching on my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel, like and share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Send videos out to as many people as you can because I don't know how long they going to keep my Facebook channel because I'll be going off sometime. <laughs> you type my name, man, though, Devontae Farmer, some dude holding the Bible should pop up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you're watching on my YouTube channel, I got some videos on Facebook that you'd be interested in getting because uh, not all of them on my YouTube channel. So get them off here while you can. All right. But with that being said, I'm about to read the Holy Quran uh, and get pick up where I left off. I love the way the Holy Quran read. I'm in chapter three. All right, so let me tune in. I, I love the way the Holy Quran read. Now, uh, <laughs> I love the fact that God know who trying to take His word for whatever reason. It's a nice uh, verse in the Holy Quran, chapter three. If you're not a true believer, uh, the Lord ain't gonna speak to you. <laughs> through the Holy Quran, because you must be a true believer to understand his word, all right? <laughs> but anyway, I love how the Holy Quran read in chapter 3. Uh, it's the family of Imran. Who is Imran? Imran is Mary's father. I love the fact, if you got a Bible, <laughs> you know Jesus come from Mary. All right, the virgin. But read your Bible and tell me, who is Mary's mom and dad? <laughs> you can't tell me that. It's not in the Bible. But obviously, she has a mother and a father. She didn't, she didn't just pop up in thin air. <laughs> but I love the fact that we don't, the Bible don't tell us who her mom and dad is. But I love the fact that the Holy Quran tells us who her father is. That's pretty cool. You're not going to get step two to take step one. <laughs> you hear me? I, I love this stuff. <laughs> now let's pick up where we left off. All right. The Holy Quran, chapter 3, uh, verse 110. It say, uh, y'all forgive me for reading on my phone. I ain't got a book version of the Holy Quran, but I'm going to get one done. It's the same, same thing, verse to verse. 114 chapters. All right, let's go. Uh, Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 110. The Lord said, you are the best community that ever emerged from humanity. You advocate what is moral and forbid what is immor immoral and believe in God. Had the people of the scripture believe, it would have been better for them among them are the believers, where and all, uh, speaking about the people, the Jewish people and Christian people, people of the scripture. Uh, some people believe, but a whole lot of people don't. You got, I, I love the way the Holy Quran, in chapter two, at the Holy Quran, it's the title, the heifer. I love the way the Holy Quran start. It, it, get, it goes straight to chapter two, it's the heifer. And what's the point about this heifer? At the heifer in the Bible, in, in Exodus chapter 32, when Moses went up the mountain and came back down, they made a golden calf, the heifer. And at this heifer, the people got divided. You had true believers, false believers. And that's what this whole thing about right here. True believers and false believers. You got true Jewish people who really honor God and serve God. <laughs> and you got fake Jewish people who don't know a damn thing about God. You got true Christian people who really honor Jesus Christ, who honor Jesus Christ and serve God through Jesus Christ. And you got fake Christian people who don't know a damn thing about Jesus. They don't serve God or worship God. Jesus said, these people hypocrites. They worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me, damn <laughs> You got true Muslim people who truly in submission to God and worship God and honor God and serve him. And you got fake Muslim people who don't know a damn thing about God. They don't serve him. They, they some hypocrites. You hear me? True believers, false believers. That's what this whole thing about right here. All right? I love the fact uh, they say among the believers, uh, among them are the believers, but most of them are sinners. <laughs> uh, they will do you no harm. 
beyond insulting you. And if they fight you, they will not, they will turn around and flee. And then they will not be helped. They shall be humiliated wherever, wherever they are encountered, except through a rope, except through a rope from God and a rope from the people. And they incurred wrath from God and were stricken with misery. That is because they rejected God's revelations. Yes, sir. Hey, <laughs> and when, if God, if God ever speak to any one of y'all and he give y'all a word and you reject his word, it's better, it's better for anyone of y'all watching and listen to me and taking God's advice. <laughs> and well, I know some people really, it, it hit, it hit your heart and you take it and run with it. And that's a blessing. But like the older people, I told you, a lot of the older people, God spoke to a lot of the older people. You want to know why the world is the way it is? In Exodus chapter 20, <laughs> verses 1 through 6, God said, I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. You should have no other gods before me. Well, people, people put stuff before God all the time. You hear me? I'm getting somewhere. The Lord say, don't bow down to them, worship them, or make an image in the form of heaven above, earth below, or in the waters below. God said, I'm a jealous God. I punish the children. Y'all want to know why some of y'all kids are going through what y'all go through? God said, I will punish the children. I will punish the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate him, but show love to a thousand generations of those who love me and keep my commandments. Well, a lot of y'all parents don't honor and serve God, and you wonder why y'all get the, get the short end of the stick. God said he will punish the children for the sin of the parents. Some of the parents didn't honor God the right way, and that's why we go through what we go through. But bless God, though. Jesus said he come to separate that BS stuff. Yeah, but that's that's the way that's the reason why the world is the way it is. <laughs> look around and tell them do the parents honor God. And look at their parents. It's a blessing if you know someone, a great a grandparent or someone who know God. I'm telling it's a difference maker. Now, I thank God for my great grandma. Y'all people look at me, want to say, damn, Vontae, how you know what you know? Man, I always had like my great grandma, I thank God for it. She 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 got saved in 1969. <laughs> 1969, it's 2023. My great grandma got saved in 1969. She was about 40 years old, and she been on fire ever since. She died a few months ago. I missed that one. She died on she died on August 17, 2023. A few months ago, she was 94. I took care of this woman for the last 10 years, 11 years. I took care of this woman. Do you hear me? I never left her sad. I never left her sad. I gave up being married. I was gonna marry this Ethiopian girl. Beautiful. Uh, hey, I y'all some of y'all know what I'm talking about too. Yeah, I was gonna marry that girl. She actually told me to buy a ring, damn I brought her a ring. What you talking about? I ain't tripping, I don't stupid. You hear me? I know ain't nobody else had this girl. She was a good girl. But I know serving God is more important. Taking care of my family is more important. Some of y'all, y'all give up what y'all got to go build the female, get the money, cars, and clothes, damn. That ain't me. I got a heart for God, heart for his people. I chose to take care of my great grandma. You hear me? I have a time to live my life, but I was going to get married and do my thing. I could have did my thing. I've been places, different states y'all didn't get to go to by my damn self. Yeah, you hear me? I've been around the people. They all—they always ask me, bro, what, I had two people in particular ask me, bro, what you want? What you want? I could have been like the rest of these idiots running around having this, having that. That don't, that don't, that don't impress me. I'm the same person with it as I am without it. And if I got to have something for you to like me, damn, I don't, I don't need you around me anyway. You hear me? But I love the fact that. People look at me like, bro, how you know what you know? And this and that. I always uh, had an understanding of God a little bit because of my great-grandma. I knew she took God serious. I got family who don't take God serious, but my great-grandma did, though, damn it. Yeah, and I, I honor and I respect that and I bless that. <laughs> yeah, I know she up there having a good time right now. I know she probably sees what I'm talking about, too, if Jesus let her see. But I know they ain't down. <laughs> what's going on down here? <laughs> ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't no need in comparison what's going on up there. Do you hear me? <laughs> but... It's a difference making your life if you got someone who know who God is. Yeah, that'd be the reason. But most of the people y'all don't. Even my, some of my friends, my uncle's friends, and they they always I noticed they grandmas and they not like how my grandma is. <laughs> you know they be they word they know that too. Like a lot of my friends, if you ever been in my house or whatever and see them and you know my great grandma, a lot of a lot of people in the neighborhood they know my great grandma. They they respect her. You know what I mean? They know who Miss Johnson is. You know they don't got no one like Miss Johnson. I, I always knew that and seen that. Like, these people don't got what I got. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. That's a, be a difference maker, bro, in your life. I always had my great-grandma around. You see what I'm saying? Praying for me. This and that. <laughs> Word. I'm telling you. <laughs> it didn't just happen like that. You know what I mean? It's a difference maker, bro. If you got God in your family somewhere, I'm telling you, it's, it's a difference maker. A lot of people don't. That's why the children be going through what they go through. Strung out, drugs, jail, killing this and that. Whatever. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Think I'm joking. All right. God said punish the, the children 
for the sin of the parents. The way the world, the reason the world is the way it is because the people forgot about God, don't honor God. <laughs> and when you do that, here put here allow your children to go through something. You want to forget about me? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I never forget about the Lord, bro. You hear me? I know what the difference is. <laughs> it's life or death. Damn it. Forget the money, cars, clothes, and fame. That's what y'all interested in. <laughs> yeah, you're crazy to say it. <laughs> but anytime the people reject God, you setting yourself up for failure, damn it. <laughs> you're, you ain't just setting yourself up, you setting your family up for failure. <laughs> you hear me? Does that make any sense to you? I hope it hits somebody. <laughs> Yeah. Like I'm crazy. I ain't crazy. <laughs> I'm still here. Listen. <laughs> Man. That is because they rejected God's revelations and killed the prophets unjustly. Uh, that is because they rebelled and committed aggression. Verse 113. They are not alike. Among the people of the scripture is a community that is upright, you see? Um, and the Jewish people, the Christian people, and the Muslim people, among some of them, is the people who are upright. They, re they, they recite God's revelations throughout the night, and they prostrate themselves. They believe in God in the last day, and advocate righteousness, and forbid evil, and are quick to do good deeds, and are quick to do good deeds. These are among the righteous. Amen. Whatever good they do, they will not be denied. God knows the righteous. I love the fact that any one of y'all who put y'all faith and trust in God and accept him in his word, you will be declared righteous. It don't matter. It's people who, I know people who don't even go to church. You hear me? But they're doing something God asks them to do, damn it. Do you hear me? That's why they be getting blessed. You just said they don't go to church. I know people who don't know God like that. They don't think they know God. But listen to me. <laughs> What's the next best thing to doing something for the Lord? You look to your left and you look to your right. Mankind made an image of God. It's some people who truly, the two greatest commandments, Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. The second one, just like it, love your neighbor as yourself. <laughs> it's some people who don't know nothing about God. They don't, they don't go to cemetery school, seminary school. They don't go to church like that. But damn it, they love their neighbor as they self. And God will bless them people. Now tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> when you do right, God will bless you. No matter what you got to go. You ain't got to have no title. You ain't got to be Jew, Christian, or Muslim. But if you take God at his word and do what the Lord asks you to do, some people do it without even knowing it. And that's why they begin blessed. Yeah. You see? Whatever good they do, they will not be denied. It. God knows the righteous. Amen. As for those who disbelieve, neither their possessions nor their children will have it. Mm. As, for, you hear me? As for those who, verse 116, as for those who disbelieve, neither their possessions nor their children will avail them anything against God. <laughs> these are the inhabitants of these are the inhabitants of the fire, abiding therein forever. <laughs> the parable of what they spend in this worldly life is that of a frosty wind that strikes the harvest of a people who have wronged their souls and destroys it. <laughs> God did not wrong them, but they wronged their own selves. Word. <laughs> oh you who believe, verse one eighteen. Oh you who believe do not befriend outsiders who never cease to wish you harm. Or they love to see you suffer. They love to see you suffer. Hatred has already appeared from their mouths, but what their hearts conceal is worse. Mm -hmm. That's the truth right there, boy. You can tell some people they just they don't like you. Well, you'd be surprised what's in their heart. If you were, it, mm, I'm gonna keep reading. They love to see you suffer. Where hatred has already appeared from their mouth, from their mouths, but what their hearts conceal is worse. We have made the messages. We have made the messages clear for you, if you understand. There you are. You love them, but they do not love you. <laughs> Some of y'all love people who don't love y'all. Damn, <laughs> that hit me right there. <laughs> Even in the Bible, the Lord say what God said to one of the people. Uh, why do you love people who don't like me? That's what the Lord said to some of the people. Some of y'all got friends and girlfriends and boyfriends that y'all love. They don't give a damn thing about God. Y'all love them more than y'all love God. God said, why y'all love them? Why you love them more than you love me? They're not going to do you no good, damn it. I know that's speaking to somebody. Word up. There you are. You love them, but they don't love you. And when you meet, and when they meet you, they say, we believe, but when they are alone, they, uh, but, but, but when they are alone, they bite their fingers and rage at you. 
uh, say, die in your rage. God knows what is within your hearts. <laughs> Word up. <laughs> I'll be saying that sometimes. Word, because it's honest, honest to God's truth, bro. Word, you listen to me. <laughs> you know people who don't like you. Word, they say, <laughs> it's people who don't like you. When they with you, they say we believe. <laughs> but when they are alone, they bite their fingers and rage at you. <laughs> say, die in your rage then. God knows what is within your hearts. <clears throat> if something good's happened to you, if something good happens to you, it upsets them. <laughs> Word up, bro. To the people who, who writes and doing what the Lord asks them to do, when, when good things happen to you, why do people around you don't like it? Listen to me every damn time. Someone, I, I listen to, I don't want to point nobody out, but every time someone go to somebody and say, it's people who know what I be doing, and they go to someone, they be like, damn, Vontae doing this and doing that. And then they come to me. Be like, you'd be surprised why you isn't it? I know people being blessed through what I'm doing. Like, I, why are you envious? This and that. I can see, where? Buzz be, where? People be weird, bro. Like, you're doing something good, damn it. They don't like you doing something good. But let me go out here and stand in the corner and do this and do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where? They're not going to, must be weird, bro. <laughs> Listen, if something good has happened to you, it upsets them. But if something bad befalls you, they rejoice at it. That's a, man, that's the truth, bro. Listen to me. When I lost everything, damn it. When I lose what I got, must be coming around, act with the smiles and man, smiles and stuff like. They, they know I'm dead. They know I'm going through something, <laughs> and they'll be happy. But the moment stuff start going right for me, they come around trying to make it hard. This and that. Man, these people was crazy. <laughs> There's a guy on the truck. Don't hit somebody. Somebody feel the same damn way. <laughs> when stuff is going right for you, they don't like it. But as soon as stuff is going wrong for you, they happy. Stuff going wrong for you. They be wishing stuff to go wrong for you. They come over just to see you going wrong. I know people who know when I'm having a bad day, they come over to see how bad the day is. <laughs> yeah, I said, mean, man, these people was crazy, bro. Can't wait to get the hell away from these people. <laughs> I speak the truth with them. You might not like it, but I love it. That's not somebody else do too. Uh, at least I ain't lying. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> if something good has happened to you, it upsets them. But if something bad befalls you, they rejoice at it. But if you but if you persevere and maintain righteousness, their schemes will not harm you at all. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> I love it right there. Through it all, if you preserve, if you persevere and maintain righteousness, keep your faith and trust in God. <laughs> their schemes will not harm you at all. I love that. I know people for a fact plotting scheming against me. I got family <laughs> plotting some weird stuff. <laughs> Give a damn thing got going on. I told you, I come in this world naked and I go out naked. You heard? I know this. If you're rocking and rolling with me, rock and roll with me. But if you ain't, I come in this world naked, damn. I'm going out naked. I got all I need to have. Word up. I keep my faith and trust in God. That's all I need to do to keep me moving through and through. All right? God, God comprehends what they do. Remember when you left your home in the morning? to assign battle positions for the believers. God is hearing and knowing. When two groups among you, uh, when two groups among you almost falter, but God was their protector. So in God, let the believers put their trust, amen. God has given you victory at uh, Badir. God has given you victory at Badir. I'm probably pronouncing this word wrong, B-A-D-R. When you were weak, so fear God that you may be thankful. Amen. When you said to the believers, it is enough for you that your Lord has reinforced you with 3,000 angels sent down. When you said to the believers, is it, is it not enough for you that your Lord has reinforced you with 3,000 angels sent down? It is. But if you persevere and remain cautious and they attack you suddenly, your Lord will reinforce you with 5,000 angels. Well trained. I like that. God made it but a message of, of hope for you and to reassure your hearts thereby. Victory comes only from God, the, the Almighty, the wise. Amen. I love that. <laughs> Victory comes only from God. Hey, it don't matter how smart I am. <laughs> hey, I'm very intelligent. <laughs> it don't matter how smart I am. I'm a little bit strong. It don't matter how strong I am. <laughs> No matter how much money you got, <laughs> you hear me? You could have means. But when you're, when you're on your deathbed, though, this and that going on, that money ain't going to save you, but 
when you're in a situation that you really need help with, that the people around you ain't going to help you. You think, I'm just letting you know, victory comes from God. God will lift you up off your deathbed. He'll give you strength when you eat. Yeah. I love that right there, bro. I love that. I don't take my eyes off of him. Victory comes only from God. Only from him. The almighty, the wise. Amen. I thank you, Lord. He thus cuts off a section of those who disbelieve and subdues them. Subdues them. So they retreat, disappointed. <clears throat> it is no concern of yours whether he redeems them or punishes them. They are the wrongdoers. To God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. He forgives whom he wills, and he punishes whom he wills. God is most forgiving, most merciful. Amen. Verse 130 say, O oh, you who believe, do not feed on usury, compounded over and over, and fear God so that you may prosper. Amen. And guard yourselves against the fire that is prepared for the disbelievers. Where it up. I love what Jesus said. I, lo I like what this saying right here. Uh, the Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 131 say, And guard yourselves against the fire that is prepared for the disbelievers. You see? <laughs> I love what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10. All right. <laughs> say the same thing. Matthew chapter 10. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 16. Jesus said, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes uh, and innocent as doves. Be on your guard. <laughs> Jesus told you, be on your guard. A lot of y'all don't be on y'all guard. Listen to me. I got family and friends, damn. If they can cross me up, they're going to cross me up. <laughs> you ain't going to cross me up, though, damn. You hear? I'm telling you. <laughs> what the little, y'all listen to the music all the damn time. Y'all ain't paying attention. Little homie Pooh Shicey told y'all. He just said, he just crossed somebody over. They should have put his guard up or something. I can't think how the song go. It's, it's a hard song. He said, y'all know what I'm talking about, damn. He said, what did the little dude say? He said, I just crossed the dude over. You should have put his guard up. Some, the song fair. I don't like listening to too much of this stuff because it get me going. <laughs> but he told you, you should put your guard up. If you get crossed over, you get crossed up, damn, you ain't got your guard up. All right? That's me telling you straight up. He told y'all. Listen to the music. <laughs> He said he just crossed somebody over. They ain't put their guard up or something. But they didn't put your guard up. What you waiting on? For somebody to do something to you? Listen to me. It's not the enemy's job to tell you he about to cross you over. If you can't see he's trying to cross you over, damn, there's something wrong with you. I just told you, I got family and friends who I know if they can cross me over, they cross me over, but damn, I ain't gonna let them. <laughs> My guard up. Jesus said, be shrewd as snake. He don't say be a snake, be shrewd as snakes. I love that comparison. <laughs> you ever see a snake outside, how it's wrapped up? You don't want to touch it. It ain't going to let you get near it. <laughs> but he also say be gentle as a dove. We can sit down and have a conversation. I'm simple. You know I mean, I, I, I can, I'm more than willing to talk. You know what I mean? But you ain't going to cross me over. You know, to put my guard up like the snake. I'm not a snake, but I love the, the comparison. <laughs> you ain't going to, if you crazy as hell, you trying to touch a snake, <laughs> it's going to bite you. Them, you just, they, they keep their distance. It ain't going to let you get in reach of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I love that right there, bro. I love Jesus the one saying the comparison. Jesus say, be shrewd as a snake, which means don't let them get near you to to harm you. They, they, they will. If you let them, just say, be shrewd. You ain't gonna get near me, damn. Would that, would that BS? But he also said, be gentle as a dove. You ain't gonna get near me with the BS, but I can still talk to you and tell you. You know what I mean? I, I'm still pray for you, this and that. There's no harm, then. All right. One of y'all like that. Uh... The Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 131, say, And guard yourselves against the fire that is prepared for the disbelievers, and obey God <clears throat> and the messenger, that you may obtain mercy, amen, and race towards forgiveness from your Lord, a, and a garden, <clears throat> and a garden as wide as the heavens and the earth, prepared for the righteous, amen. Though, verse 134, uh, those who give in prosperity and, ab and adversity, and those who restrain anger and those who forgive people, God loves the door, the doors of good. Right up. Those who give in prosperity and adversity. When you give them out of when, when you bless and you give out of when you when you give from what, what you've been blessed with and adversity, even if you're going through something, you still find a way to give to somebody <laughs> like I am. <laughs> it's not easy for me right now, but yeah, I'm telling you, <laughs> this has been the roughest time in my life. <laughs> You can't tell though, can you? <laughs> Word, when you hold on to the Lord, man, you, you can't, it don't look like what you're going through. You know what I mean? Word up. I love that, though. You know what I mean? But listen, 
And those who restrain anger, I know you might, the Bible, I love the fact that the Bible say be angry, but don't sin. Hmm. Some of y'all got a reason to be mad, damn. Some, boy, if, if you see a little kid being picked on and you ain't mad or you seeing something, boy, something wrong with you. When Jesus went to the temple, he seen them people exchanging money. What did he do? He flipped, he flipped the tables up on their asses. Y'all ain't going to make a mockery out of my house. Word. If you, word it's, it's some people who just let stuff go on. <laughs> you crazy as hell. When Jesus seen them people tripping in the temple, he flipped the tables over on them. Y'all can get up out of here with that today. I love that. I'm just like how my Lord is when I see the BS. You ain't gonna you think you just gonna make money in there and do this and do that and not put the God and not put God first. You was crazy. You would get tossed about here so fast. <laughs> I'm not nice as boss. What the dude say on the movie? I ain't nice as boss. You don't want me to come down there, bro. You hear me? Because Jesus, he take it easy on you. If I get the green light to clear the yeah, I'ma clear it out. What you talking about? <laughs> I ain't gonna, yeah, you crazy as hell. I ain't gonna sit right there and laugh and talk, joke and talk with you. <laughs> gonna get the hell away from me with that BS. All right? <laughs> yeah. I told you, I ain't nice as a boss. <laughs> uh, and, those who re and those who restrain anger. <laughs> and those who forget people. God loves the doors of good. Amen. Verse 135 say, And those who, when they commit an indecency or wrong themselves, remember God and ask forgiveness for their sins. Amen. <clears throat> and those who, when they commit an indecency or wrong themselves, remember God and ask for forgiveness for their sins. Why? Right. He's saying pray for the people. When you see some, when you see someone doing wrong to themselves, remember God and ask for forgiveness for them. Why? Right. That's people who I know who not doing the right thing and they know who God is. And I do pray for that the Lord help them and have mercy on them because you don't want to see nobody. You truly don't want to see nobody uh, get what the Lord would, would get to them at the end. You see what I'm saying? And you want God to have mercy on them. Or I got people who I know. I hope God uh, smack them upside the head and shine a light on them <laughs> before it's too late. You know what I mean? All right. Because you want to see the people get blessed. You don't want to see nobody go through nothing. <clears throat> Even the people who hate you, bro, and do you wrong, you still don't want to see them go through nothing. I got people who do me wrong. <laughs> I wish I could help them the way I want to, but this and that, but they don't want to help themselves, but still pray for them, though. You know what I mean? And not, it's not easy. Not easy. Uh, Peter went to Jesus one time and said, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother who sinned against me? Seven times? Peter thought he had it figured out. Seven times? I could do this seven times. They keep on doing dumb stuff. I can forget them. Jesus said, not seven times, but 70 times seven. Peter said, man, this is a hard thing. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word, but it's not easy. But Keep on praying for people. All right, keep on praying for people. That's, that's speaking to me right there, too. All right. And who forgives sins except God? <clears throat> and they do not pers and and they do not persist in their wrongdoing while they know it. All right. Verse 136 uh, say, Those, their reward is forgiveness from their Lord, and gardens beneath which rivers flow, abiding therein forever. How excellent is the reward of the workers, amen? Many societies have passed away before you, so travel the earth and note the fate of the deniers. Where many societies have passed away before you, so travel the earth and note the fates of the deniers. This is a proclamation to humanity and guidance and advice for the righteous. And do not waver nor feel remorse, you, are the superior ones if you are believers amen if a wound afflicts you a similar wound has afflicted the others such days we alternate between the people that god may know those who believe and take uh mart martyrs from among you god does not love the evil doors so so that god may prove those who believe and eliminate the disbelievers and i'm gonna read one, I'm gonna read one more verse with y'all i'm gonna get off here my voice starting to go out a little bit, but uh, it's all good. Uh, all the Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 142 say, Or do you expect to enter paradise before God has distinguished those among you who strive, and before he has distinguished the steadfast? Uh, I'll read one more. You, you used to wish for death before you, you had faced it. Now you have seen it before your very eyes. All right? Um, I'll stop right there. I want to keep going, but I'm going to stop right there. Then. All right. God bless y'all, man. Will y'all give me a moment of y'all time? All right.
the best time you can spend is time with the Lord. And it will not be wasted. I hope God's words uh, say something to you and hit your mind, heart, and spirit. <clears throat> and you take it around with it. So I, I love that, man. It's something special about God's word. Y'all like to hop in the water, wash off, I will hope. <laughs> if you can't, if you don't got water and can't wash off, I understand that too. But if you, you, even though you can't, you should, but still want to get, want to get clean. All right. <laughs> and the best way to get clean truly, that shower feel good. But the truest way to get clean is through the washing of God's word. Cause it does God's word really <laughs> sharpening double edged sword. It'll hit your mind, body and spirit. And it, it'll make you think a whole different other way. Well, I'm done. I love that right there, bro. I love that. It, 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 really, it really will wash that BS off of you. <laughs> you hear? I love that. All right. I'm getting off here. God bless y'all, man. Y'all keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit. He's going to give it to you, okay? It's the Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus. The Lord Jesus is going to lead us to be home with our Father in Heaven. I'll uh, get up out of here <laughs> one day. Until then, man, y'all keep on taking y'all time. <laughs> I'm going to keep on praying for y'all. Y'all keep on praying for me, too. Uh, and I will see y'all again. Amen. God bless y'all.